Howdy fellow YouTubers. Um, today's video is uh, five uh, horror slash thriller-ish type movies that I really enjoy that aren't as mainstream uh, as like an Evil Dead or a Halloween or movies like that. Um, five movies I think you should really check out. Uh, some American, some are foreign. Uh, first, I'm going to start off with a uh, classic, The Bad Seed, with Patty McCormick, right there, the evil little girl. The uh, movie starts off a little bit slow, it's a long movie, it's 129 minutes, uh, it starts off pretty slow, but uh, it builds up, and it builds up, and if you keep watching it, it'll, it'll grab you and pull you in. Uh, basically, she's a sweet, innocent little girl. She just kind of has a mean side. Um, also has Nancy Kelly, Henry Jones, Ellen Heckhart, Evelyn Varden, um, directed by Mervyn Leroy. This was originally, I believe, a, a play. Um, it's also a book, which the book is also really good. Kind of a different ending than the movie, though. But uh, The Bad Seed, check it out if you can find it. Um, next up, a uh, nasty, nasty, nasty little foreign film here. Um, it's French, Baby Blood, also known as The Evil Within. Um... This is uncut, uh, which is the first time it's been uncut. All the other times, you know, you had to have bootlegs and such. There's the other poster, The Evil Within. Basically, this is about a parasite that needs to survive. So it basically goes inside of a woman and kind of tells her to kill things. It's uh, really nasty, really bloody. Uh, as it says on the back here, Now this reluctantly expectant mommy and her chatty mutant fetus are off on a cross-country killing spree where prenatal care means violent carnage. Yikes. Good little film. Check it out. This is an Anchor Bay release. Pulse. Not the crappy American remake or its couple sequels with, uh, yeah, who was in the remake? Kristen Bell? Yeah, that Veronica Mars lady. This is creepy. Uh, unlike the American one, which was your basic run of the mill teen romp fest. But, uh, this is really creepy. This is a really fun film right here. Um, they're, they're like ghostly images that kind of roam around and the way that they come in and off the screen and how they appear in and throughout the movie brings a real, you know, creepiness to it. Um, check it out if you can get this. Uh, this is a Magnolia release. I'm not sure how easy that is to find. But uh, I know it's not going to be that expensive. Really fun, though. Not many special features on this, really. A little making making of. But uh, it's worth having. It's 119 minutes long, but uh, it definitely doesn't seem like it. It goes really quick. Uh, next up, a nice little uh, import from across the pond. Tony. Kind of a... I guess the European version of a like, like Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. Nice quiet little guy, but there's a reason he's holding the hammer and there's a reason he has blood on him. Kind of reminds me of Ned Flanders from The Simpsons, sort of. Uh, fun film, good special features. You got some uh, short films on there. You got some audio commentary. 
Uh, I had to watch this with uh, subtitles because, uh, well, their British accents are really heavy. Some of them, some of the characters in it. But a uh, really cool film. Really good little release. You can find it, pick up Tony. It's a nice companion piece to Henry. And last but not least, Jeff Lieberman's Satan's Little Helper. What a fun, fun, fun film. Um, the really good commentary on here, too. Jeff Lieberman does really good commentaries. Uh, he also did the movies Blue Sunshine and Squirm. Squirm is really good about the uh, earthworms. Really fun film. But uh, basically, yeah, it's Halloween. And uh, it's the one day that Satan really doesn't need to wear an outfit. So, uh, little uh, Douglas Woolley just thinks he's a good old guy and he's going to go play games with him. Uh, it's really tongue-in-cheek. It's uh, it's kind of funny, like a lot of Jeff Lehman stuff, it has some funny stuff to it. But uh, the Satan character is really fun in this. Uh, just the stuff he does and whatnot. Just a real hoot. Disc is cool too. Uh, I picked this up on a whim, really just for the title alone, and then I realized it was Jeff Lieberman, and I was like, well, it has to be good, because I like all his stuff. Uh, really fun stuff. Has a Catherine Winnick, Amanda Plummer, who's pretty cool. Uh, I think Catherine Win Winnick, the uh, blonde girl here, I think she was just in that Viking show that they had on TV. I'm not sure. I didn't watch it. But a uh, really cool film. You'll have a blast watching this. Good stuff. So... Check out those five films. Uh, give them a watching. I don't really think you'll be disappointed in any of them. They're all fun to me. I mean, I could watch any of these right now. I could put any of them on and give them a watching. Um, some good special features, but uh, none of them should be that expensive on Amazon or if you find them in a store. Uh, they shouldn't be that much, so pick them up. Check them out. If you watch any of these or if you've heard of any of these and you like them or hate them, leave me a comment. Let me know. Let me know what you thought about them. That's it. Take care.